Good morning and welcome to the Jewel of Burke Mountain. We have first light. First light is the best light. And we're hoping to maybe run into some animals since I didn't do a pre-walk in here. Good morning everybody here. Yeah, we got standing ovation here from our friends these big trees all right so this is going to be a quick video not a long video it's just going to be a quick video on this first light how killer this place is in the morning how someone could be so uplifted by going to a place like this I'm doing some uh, a bit of parkour on these trees uh, all right so yeah this is as wild as it gets dear viewer as wild as it gets in an ur urban setting uh, last night the uh, Burke mountain naturalist put on a symposium regarding urban forests there was a uh, District of North Vancouver Forester there, uh, and everybody who, in Who is Who in uh, Saving a Tree was there. Good timing, I handed out a lot of cards that basically had the um, link for uh, the change.org, which uh, we're operating under, which is stop the destruction of the last cedar forest on Burke Mountain um, so there you go basically that is going to give a serious parabolic spread whatever you want to think of what I'm saying that's it's the trajectory and the quantum quantum leap is heading to higher and better heights this is the third day of the launch of me trying to save this forest on change.org on Instagram on Facebook um, there's has to be a lot said about this forest uh, there was a lot of talk about uh, stress on trees due to climate change or just, you know, the, the warming. And also those heat domes that happen. So the, shed, the, the trees are shedding limbs and to save themselves and things like that. So, but uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to put in uh, the, uh, the ever f first ever video I put on here, which was about saving this forest and at the near the end of it it's just a shorty because I won't you know link all the different videos together as the other uh, videos on my channel which is loose tools L O U apostrophe S tools um, but th that video will you'll see that there is an aquifer underneath underneath this forest so these cedars need a lot of water they like the water, they, they drink it up. So, they've, they've just done fine here, but yeah, the climate is changing and basically that's what this forest is gonna have in its back pocket, is that aquifer that's un underneath it. Uh, you can see Burke Mountain back there, yeah, it goes to the top. It's been chopped up, but the water's still draining underground to this flat land this forest is pretty flat and what's underneath a flat piece of land that's got water draining into it from the top of the mountain an aquifer um, and you will see uh, in the video that's getting all the hits for uh, for this saving this uh, cedar forest 
uh, near the end of it, I go into the summer bear den down below this lot. And uh, what's there? An elevation change, a little elevation drop. And uh, spring springs out, which represents the creek, one of the creeks that's in that wetland below. And uh, that's what's draining this land. Look at this tree. <laughs> oh, there's a, a friendly hemlock. And a hemlock behind that. This is a cedar. Yeah, that's just killer. Yeah. Uh, this symposium that was put on last night, people were not aware of this forest. And uh, this is to make you aware. Go to change.org uh, under stop the destruction of the last cedar forest on Berg Mountain. And You'll see all the links there for the mayor, the councillors to go, uh, the ministers. Contact them, tell them how you feel. Um, and this has to go. That's a bad word to use, viral, but you know, a, the creation of a park in a place like this is it. Is there anything else we could do? No. Nope. There's nothing else we could do with this piece of land is just to turn it into a park. Urban forest is so important. This is going to be a heat sink, right? Heat sink holding water, giving us oxygen. I've talked about the myriad uh, range of poisons that forests filter um, you know all the stuff we put in the air they filter it they hold the water they hold the moisture this forest has the ability to save lives actually you got a heat dome people will pack in here put some benches in here and a playground in the middle in the in the um, in this uh, meadow right here right this has been you know let go a foul a little bit there's Anybody can comment on what this plant is. It's growing like a weed everywhere. This could be invasive. It's kind of a green, smooth bark. Um, I'll do a focus on that. Uh, yeah, I'll check into it, but if anybody can comment, that would be fantastic. So, yeah, this forest is going to save lives. Right? There won't be, uh, you know, your elderly parent will be walked in here in arm and arm and and they won't die right because they're not going to be stuck in their house and there be there will be a lot and and a lot and a lot and a lot of townhomes around here look at this biomass okay do you see what i'm walking at walking on um there is a ton and ton of forest biomass that has fallen rotten fallen rotten fallen rotten Look at this forest floor. It's wet. Yeah. She's wet. Well, why is that, right? Because that biomass is holding all the moisture. Yeah, and there's a lot of deadfall in here. You can see the, the winter winds and the storms and... Uh, the snow has a does a bit of damage, right? Uh, that's pretty normal. I'm just gonna walk to the back 40 here, and uh, I did a Facebook video yesterday with Anya, uh, and it's just killer. That was uh, I had my gimbal in my hand. I was flying between the trees to the music, uh, high up on the snow over here. Uh, that was. I'll never forget that. That was like a transcending experience. Alright, the music. <sighs> Together with these trees. This is what I'm talking about right here. So, but we got to talk about who lives here first and foremost. 
because we can save lives by putting this under an uh, endangered forest list in our minds and get and uh, put the pressure on the city and the world to do something about saving this giant biomass of a forest. But who are we going to help in the end? I'll give you a list, okay? So the summer bear den is number one. Down below, um, if you check into what is going to happen on the uh, southeast of this block, just down below, down Rockland here, there's another development going in there, coming really close to the creek allowance, like a two meters or something. And on the back side, the west, uh, the southwest side, on the other side of the lot, there's another one on the bottom where the creek comes out. So that bear can at least come up here at night and get holed up in one of these big cedar giant stumps that are all over the place. So when the mama and the bears, uh, yeah, I watched them all basically for a year. Since they were babies, they look like squirrels climbing the trees. Um, they've been frequenting everywhere here, day, night. Mama's really friendly. Uh, not too close, but close enough. I've been surrounded by five bears before. Didn't do video, because that's not something you do video of. You just don't. You take that and put it in your heart. Because mama and two cubs and two brother bears that hang out here, down from, from down below, uh, where Corey is, they come up. Every day, at the end of the day, they come up here, up the sidewalk. Uh, they were, I was surrounded by them on a the street. Just... Uh, few feet from here um, in the middle of the night so the wildlife is here uh, the deers are here all the time the ravens live here there is a resident flock of doves that hangs out in here there is eagles there's hawks that squawk all night that come in here keeping us up just down the street at our Tanas complex. Um, there is a ton of amphibians living in that wetland down there. This is what I'm talking about, this biomass. How old is this hump that the city is growing out of? Right? Yeah, there are so many microorganisms in this biomass. This forest floor biomass has got to be a few few feet thick. You got the root network under that. And the just the level of uh, survival that is happening here. You got all these trees fighting for light. This is like origami over here. Look at this. See, it came up, twisted in some branches, hit the ground, went back up. Two trees were born there. And there's another one joining them off to the side. This place is wild. It would be criminal to reduce this forest completely or reduce it in any possible way and this first light did you listen to my voice from the beginning to now what does the first light do right you go for a walk and you go for a run in here in the morning through the trails you will be a changed person The government does not have the right to manage our psychological state. Effectively, that's what that is. Destruction of a forest is managing a psychological state to the depressive state. 
Think about that. We do not live in a nanny state. We need to stand up. This is not a totalitarian system we live in. And it's not a democracy either. So we're not going to make some, I'm not going to make some democ democratic remarks. Because there's a few people, only a few people and the developers are making a decision for a forest like this. And I have hope in the key people that I saw last night. The people that were at that, at that symposium. No, you can't, can't stop development. No, you can't. There's these outside mamas right here. Check it out. Yeah, she's getting some light there. You can't stop development, but you can make a park. And just be done with it. Just be done with it. And maintain it. And then make that your business card. Right? City of Coquitlam has a giant cedar park. Thank you very much. Over and out. Right? People will come see it amidst all the development that will happen all around here. The community center up there. It'll be just a short walk through a trail to this park where you can grab, your, grab lunch and breathe in some oxygen. All right? So thank you for your time. This is one of the shorter videos. I don't want to bore anybody, but now you know what it's like in the morning. This hole is still wet. This is the spring that happens when it rains. The aquifer water table comes up. All right? But I'll link that, I'll put that little bit of a video, I'll chop it up and just put that piece of video where this hole is full of water, like a well of life. Alright, so I'm going to do a bushwalk out of here, out the back 40 if you want to stay for that. Uh, yeah, trees everywhere. So there is an IP6 pin right there. Heading Kitty Corner to Dollar and Burke Village Boulevard. So everything I would just walk through and talk through will be gone if we do nothing. Right? So this is going to be a park. It's going to be a trail here. It could be a circumference trail like most parks have and then trails back and forth and then a handicap trail for uh, look at that hello for wheelchairs yeah I mean money cannot buy what I'm showing you here you can't grow this, right? This is, <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to get into a cougar or a bear in here. Oh man, just the odd chipmunk over there. All right. Soon enough, the bears will come out. Then we can have them on video. Yeah, the moss grows everywhere here. This, all this keeps the moisture. Look at this place. This is West Coast. This is as West Coast as it gets. All right, there's a bit of a parkour situation here. These slippery logs. Oh. You know, wild, right? Like, look at this tree here. It's 
growing into a root network down there and then up and there's trees coming out of it. Yeah, it's uh, just wild. So now I'm stepping into the quote unquote, I don't know, repairing area, repairing an area. Because uh, the pins are just over here. They run them that, that way. But uh, who knows what they've got planned here for uh, saving this summer bear den. Yeah. Good morning, anybody? Is anybody home? Yeah. This is a summer bear den right here. Lots of shade for the bears. Lots of bed down area. Creek right there. You can drink the water. And the grandeur. Change.org has a picture addition problem right now so you have to come here and see this property just uh, come up Rockland um, or drive up Mitchell park your car there and bust a right east on Park Village Boulevard and then this property's top the top of this property is on Burke Village Boulevard if you come up from the bottom just uh, refer to you know coming up from up Rockland if you come up Rockland you will hit a city lot which is somewhat treed at, at the T of Bakerest and Rockland and uh, you can even park your car down there and then walk up this way and you'll hit the creek straight up and then stay on the right side of the property and you'll come up in here um, pop in anywhere into these trails talk soon thank you